Disposing of inactive records. Information on disposing of inactive records can be found on the Records Management section of the Archives and Special Collections webpage. Click on Forms, scroll down to the link for the RC-108 form. The form will load in your computer and you can fill it out electronically. You will have to print it out and send it to me. The state agency is the University of Connecticut. Division and unit is your department, college, institution, center. Please fill in your street address and your U-box number. You are requesting destruction, so please check off that box. The individual completing the form is considered to be the records custodian, and that is who I will be contacting if there are any questions or concerns. Include your title. At the end of the form completion, you will be signing it but you can leave it blank for now. The Records Management Liaison Officer, or RMLO, is Betsy Pittman. Her title is University Archivist, and the remainder of those lines can remain blank. The main body of the form includes the series number and description, and we will get into describing how to complete those forms next. The information on the schedules can be found on the State Library website, under Records Retention Schedules for State Agencies. Schedules 1, 2, 3, and 5 are most commonly used by the University of Connecticut. You can download the most recent form. I've used examples of several common record types that we have in offices at the University. The first one is Routine Correspondence. As you can see, it's in Schedule 1, Item 070, Correspondence Routine, and the retention period is two years from the date of the correspondence. This is the information you're going to transfer to the 108 form. So you can see S1-070, Routine Correspondence. In the date of records fields, you're going to include the oldest date you have found in your materials. In this case, the example says 1987 through the most recent time period you are requesting to destroy. Two years is June of 2010. The volume of records is very important. A vertical file drawer holds approximately two cubic feet. A lateral file cabinet drawer holds approximately three cubic feet. Commonly used paper boxes holds approximately one to one and a half cubic feet depending on how tightly it's packed. For your electronic records, please do not count the number of files, disks, or CDs. Please measure it in megabytes or gigabytes. The next example is personnel records, which are in Schedule 2. Searches are referred to in the state rec record schedule as applications for employment not hired. You can see the retention, the minimum retention period is two years from the date the position is filled or the search is closed. That is the state minimum. The university's Office of Diversity and Equity requires three years and therefore you must allow three years from the close of search when requesting permission to destroy. Most offices hold very few record copy records of financial records. One exception, however, are pro card records. They are fiscal records. They're found in Schedule 3. And pro card records, the state calls purchasing card records. So you can see Schedule 3 230. And the retention period is three years or until audited. That is the state audit, not internal audit. So you would include pro card records the oldest you've got through three years. Another example for the university are grade books held by faculty. The retention period is five years from the end of the last semester recorded in the book. Just like the others, you would include this information, do the date range for which you have the materials, and then the estimated volume. Once you've completed the form, please sign it in ink other than black, 
put in the date you've signed it, put it in campus mail addressed to Betsy Pittman, Unit 1205. The entire process from the time I receive it and review it to the time the signed form is returned to you takes approximately one month. Please plan accordingly. You may not destroy these records until permission has been received from the State Library.